What we're going to do here is, we're just going to use smush balls. We love using these things because, you know, they, they don't hurt, you can get hit by them, nothing happens, no big deal. So, we're actually going to set up three home plates. I got a bucket of these babies, and all I'm going to do is pitch one at a time. I'm going to go down the line, if they swing and miss, you can throw it again, or not. So we have three hitters here. We can have three people in the field and we can actually play games against each other as well. Who hits the most line drives. So they're fielding the balls, they don't go that far. They're actually getting hitting in and then we rotate and switch. So we have six guys, we can go two off the tee, two off the softy balls, we get a whole entire team of 10 hitting in rapid fire just like this. So this is a good way to get them to see the ball hit the ball, we can throw curve balls with them, we can mix up change ups, we can throw fast balls. It's gonna look just like this. Here we go. We got, we got a pro player, we got a little leaguer, and we got an NCAA player. So we're gonna see what happens here. Let's get after a little bit. It's kind of interesting how we have three lefties. I think Josh is pretending like he's a lefty, but he's really not, but we'll find out soon. So we got Josh. Oh wow. You gotta make sure that her, uh, I'll watch it. Oh yeah, you better be ready. You better be ready. The camera guys better be, whoa, the camera guys better be ready. Oh, got a, getting a little slap footwork in. Getting a little slap footwork into, oh wow. These guys are not messing, yeah. they are not messing around. We're going from, wow, wow, this is like derby. It's like, oh man, oh wow. Oh, oh, whoa, oh. <laughs> there it goes. Don't try this at home. Watch out camera people. Here we go. Having some fun, having some fun. Oh! And then when they, they, when they swing in the nest, they get to redeem themselves with the next one. Boom! So, so that's a great way to to mix in um, some smush balls when we're uh, working on our hitting stations. So, what do you got next, Coach Steve? That's pretty good. I think the key is stations regardless of what you're doing. We talked about it in the very beginning. Create stations around the field and keep the kids moving. We talked about it in the very beginning about uh, not having enough stations and having too much standing around and you know, kids quitting the game because we want to talk about how long the ball is actually in flight in a baseball game. The ball is actually in flight for eight minutes. So the average game is an hour and a half long, 112 pitches, each side, but the ball's actually in the air for eight minutes. So when people call it the boring sport, it is boring if you don't know what to do in between those times. The baseball player knows to talk about who's got the ball, who doesn't, where was the last pitch, where is he getting ready, how's he setting up, is he clearing out the dirt, what's going on, all those things are going on in their head before the ball is thrown, the anticipation of the game. So it can definitely be called the boring sport if you do not know how to play it, and the ball's in flight for eight minutes out of an hour and a half. <clears throat> so we have to make sure we're keeping this game fun. Everyone's going, to, we're gonna finish off with one more round to see who hits the ball the furthest with the smush balls. You always wanna finish with a competition to see what happens. So here's our competition, let's go. Our competition's going, Coach Josh, you ready? Yes. And we're gonna see who hits the ball the furthest. All right, always gotta finish up with a competition. We're gonna go overhand. Oh, you got a, a slapper there. That one's pretty good, Coach Josh. Oh, see, sometimes yes. you sometimes you got to mix in a little a little water balloon home run derby. Let's watch Carissa try this one. Carissa, yeah, Carissa's gonna try it. Come on, Carissa. There, there we go. So make sure when you're playing the game of baseball or softball, you're always having fun. You're finishing it up with something fun like that. And the guy that wants the ball the most, the water balloon the most, is not gonna get one. So, oh, 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 oh yeah, he is. Here we go. There we go. Finishing it up. Hopefully if anybody has any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments. We're gonna be answering questions all day long. Hope you guys loved it. Coach Steve, do you have anything to finish it off with? Awesome, thank you guys for tuning in. Really appreciate it.